Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss another related rates problem and now look at basically the water tank problem. You've probably seen this uh, before in calculus, uh, your calculus class, etc. So basically the example I'm going to go over is this one which states a water tank has the shape of an inverted circular cone with base radius 2 meters and height 4 meters. So that's if you look at this cone right here, this one is the water part right there. But if we look at this, the base radius is the, this top right here. And this is two meters, so we're given that as two meters, and the overall height right here, okay, this here is four meters. So we're given this, and now what we're given here is if water is being pumped into uh, the tank at a rate of two meters cubed per minute. So if you have, let's say, a draw a faucet like this, it's a pretty bad faucet. Anyways, if you're dropping water in like through it at a rate. Uh, let's say at a rate of, uh, well, never rate of volume change, that's just a derivative, so dv over dt in terms of time, and this equals to v prime, and this we are given as 2 meters cubed per minute. So uh, just a quick note on solving these problems, it's good as you read to kind of write what you're given, and then to write it in terms of calculus, kind of like derivative notation like this. So we're given this over here, now if we read further, it says find the rate at which the water level is rising, when the uh, water is three meters deep. So if this is the water level, let's we'll draw this here to make it look like it's water. So that's the water level, and it's asking when the how how, how what's the rate of it changing? Let's just say this uh, from here to here is the height of the water. We'll call this h, and we're we're asked to find the rate at it's increasing, or I'll draw an arrow up like this. So we're trying to uh, we're asked to find this increase, which is basically h prime which equals to obviously dh over dt or the derivative of this h uh, of this height so that that's what we're trying to find out and this is when basically when the water is three meters deep or at h equals to three meters right here so uh, to solve this like i showed in my earlier video on introduction to related rates the idea is to get to find basically our unknown this one right here in terms of our known rate right here which is the volume so there's an unknown rate this one's uh, known, but we could relate this using the formula for the volume of this, uh, this, this cone right here, or this circular cone, and that is basically, which I will prove in a later video, but you can pr probably notice this, it's 1 over 3 pi r squared times h, where r, in this case we're looking at the volume of the water only, r is basically this, this small radius right here, which is of the water, so that's r. And basically, h is this this what we're uh, looking for uh, the rate of it. But in this case, uh, r is actually a function of h here because as you increase the uh, vol uh, volume of water, your the height increases and so on. The the radius increases as well to a maximum of two right here if you fill up completely. So r is a function of h right here. I'll write r equals f of g. This just means function of. Actually, not g, I mean h right here, not g, I don't know why that came up, but anyway, so r is a function of h, so we have to relate these two uh, in s somehow, and the way to do that is actually using similar triangles. You can see a video link below on that, because this is just a triangle, like here, if you look at h and r, it's a triangle, we could actually relate it to t to uh, this the total uh, height and radius of 4 and 2. Yeah, so basically, we use it using similar triangles, I have a drawing right here, basically, if you look at this perfectly horizontal you'll see a 2d uh, triangle uh, well if you look at half of it like this you'll get this part here where the top this this uh, radius is 2 the full length uh, no, the full height is 4 but then uh, at here this is the radius of the water and this is the height of the water inside already and now they both share the same angle so that's basically the idea of similar triangles they both share the angle if you look at tan theta this equals to well um, you can see my earlier video on trigonometry, but basically it equals to opposite over adjacent, or r over h, and then, but then again, this is the same thing, using the same triangle, so you could also use 2 and 4. So this is the idea of similar triangles, is basically relating it through the same angle. So now we have this relation right here, and we could use this to write r in terms of h. So this would be basically r equals 2, h, 2 over 4, but then this 2 over 4 equals 1 over 2. Yes, yeah, so this would equal 2, uh, basically h over 2 right here. The 2's will, you can divide this out. The 2 over 4 is same as 1 over 2. So we have this right over here. And then we could actually plug that inside of this one right here. So we'll get 
uh, v equals to 1 over 3 pi, uh, now we put that uh, 2 over, I mean 1 over 2 uh, h, so we'll get h over 2 squared times h, this would equal 2, 1 over 3 pi, this is going to be h squared or h cubed, so an h squared and then an h there to cubed, and now we'll have the bottom 2 to the square, that is just 4, and this simplifies 4 times 3 is equal to, well, pi h3 over 12. So we get this one over here, and I'll write that down right here. Yeah, so basically we get this over here, v equals uh, pi h cubed divided by 12. Now what we could do is take the derivative and using chain rule, because remember both h, uh, is, yeah, h is a function of t and v is a function of t. So we take derivative on both sides, dv over dt, this equals to, well, v prime equals 2 now using uh, derivative of h cubed, that is bring it down using power rules, 3 over 12 here, pi h squared minus 1, and then always use a chain rule because this is a function of time, so this is going to be uh, dh over dt, or I'll just write h prime and, and just make a note, this is dh over dt, same thing, just a different notation. So now we have this over here, get simplify this one here, we'll get basically v prime is equal to 1 over 4 pi h squared times h prime. Now we could solve for h prime in terms of v prime. Basically relate the two rates together. So we'll get 4, yeah, 4 times uh, v prime divided by pi h squared right here. So there is our formula for h prime right here. And we could actually solve the rate at any height, but we're looking at basically at h is equal to uh, 3. So we could plug this in, or 3 meters. So we could plug it in, so we have h prime is equal to 4 times 2 meters cubed per second, and per minute. And then divided by pi, this is uh, 3 squared, that's just going to be 9 meters cubed squared. Uh, yeah, meters cubed. I mean, a meter squared, meter squared, not meters cubed. So now the meters will uh, cube divided by meter squared. We'll just left with a meter. So we'll get this is going to be eight over pi times nine, and this is going to be meters uh, per minute right here. And you plug this into the calculator. So basically, this is our final answer. If you're in a calculus exam, you don't have a calculator, you could just leave it like that. Or in a calculator, this would be about I think 0.28. Uh, meters per minute. So that's how fast it is rising. And there is our answers uh, right here, our answer. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, example. And remember to, um, yeah, remember, I always have the notes in the Dropbox link below. So make sure to check those out of this exact stuff I wrote. And also, all the related videos of this are inside the video description uh, below. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.